Waterford here in all white played their strongest available team and made a great start in United Park. Akinade beaten in the air, but it was Bastian Eri who scored his fourth goal in eight games. His optimistic strike creeping in, though goalkeeper Paul Skinner should have saved it. Draw to United weren't as sharp as they had been two weeks ago when putting Shamrock Rovers out of the cup. Chris Lyons with the header, not strong enough to beat Neil Corbett in the Waterford goal. The home side might have had a penalty. Sean Brennan's free kick to Richie Purdy, his cross blocked by Houlihan. Referee Rob Harvey deciding that there was no handball. The replay might suggest otherwise. Drogheda almost caught Waterford on the break. Will Hundemark's fine pass finding Mark Doyle, who had ghosted into an excellent position, but he pulled his shot wide with the goal at his mercy. And that was that, a rare home defeat for Drogheda United, who can concentrate on promotion now from Division 1. Waterford can look forward to the upcoming quarter-final draw. Drogheda United nil, Waterford 1, the final score. We're right in the mix with her. Fantastic season um, in regards to the league, and listen, we've got a, a very, very tough game here on Friday night with UCD. Um, that's only our second defeat here all season, and the last one we had was Finn Harps, and they scored in the last minute. Um, we lost one 0 tonight, so listen, we can put it up to anyone on our ground, and we've got to refocus now and get back on, back on track on Monday, and we prepare for UCD Friday, which is a huge game for both clubs. The performance wasn't great, but uh, as you said, it's great to get into the next round. They're a good side, you know. To be fair, they probably shaded possession, but you know, we were a little bit clinical in their chance, so I'm um, delighted to be in the next round. Yeah, because that was against the Drogheda side who'd knocked out Shamrock Rovers in the previous round. So Waterford, Dundalk and Cork City all coming through against uh, lower league opposition, you might say. Do they deserve it, do you think? Or could uh, Drogheda even have had a penalty against Waterford? Oh, for me, it's a stonewall penalty. You know, they, they, they've taken a short corner. And I think, to be, to be fair to Gavin Hullohan, he's got away with absolute robbery here. You know, but he's shown his experience. He's looked around, played it as if nothing's happened. But you can clearly see that it's hand the ball. I think he looks guilty. He looks guilty, <laughs> nearly, but he's, he has. He's, yes. he's trying to look around to see what he's going to give. But how the referees missed it. But I would say Alan Reynolds is right. He must be delighted to get through there. The goal's fortunate. Paul Skinner would be disappointed. But, you know, what if we're going there on the back of a result in the Brandywell last week? I think Alan will be... Be over the moon to get under the hat. So, do you think it's about uh, the depth of squads, like the difference in, in in class between what are Premier Division sides and and other league opposition, or or is it just that uh, on the night that they were better? I mean, do you think no. Drogheda deserved uh, to go to, to at least get a replay? Drogheda probably deserved something out of the game, you know. But um, in terms of the big boys, and Dave, yeah. you'll speak about it now. The, the big boys have been able to, to well, make some Well, if you look so at Cox City, Cox City playing at home uh, made ten, ten changes, changes, Tony. You know, ten changes. That's the kind of uh, the budget these clubs have now at the moment you look at Dundalk seven, seven changes so like you know most teams can't go in it's trying to get into the, you know playing the last 16 in the FAI Cup they'll put out their best teams even if you look at Waterford there Waterford had their strongest squad they knew they had to play their, their strongest squad but you know Dundalk and uh, Cork City definitely they, they have this kind of leeway that they can rest players and uh, you know they're using it well. And to be fair, the Drogheda players were probably working that day, Tony. You know, they probably all done a day shift and were probably getting out of bed early to go and play such a, a high-profile game against a big club now in Waterford in terms of the investment and sitting third in the table. But, you know, Drogheda deserve a lot of credit as well for, for taking the game to Waterford, putting them under pressure and not letting them play well. So... Alan Reynolds will be a happy man. would have to say Paul Skinner there, you know, for that go over here. I know he's having an outstanding series, uh, season, you know, picking up the ball 30 yards out and having a strike like that. You know, that's, that's a keeper's ball all day. Yeah, speculation, Absolutely, isn't yeah. it? What about Dundalk and their, their